Yeah. Let's get to the shoelaces. Yes. Okay. Oh, this one. I remember this one. Oh my God. Okay, so my friend Kristen got a cat and he was this cute little black cat and I named him Spidey and she left him with me. So I would play with him with this. You know how cats love string and stuff. I have here a ticket for Coldplay. That was my first concert I've gone to. Ever? Ever. Ever. Because my parents would never let me go before. I was about to graduate high school, so they let me go. But it was magical. I cried and I stood there in awe. It was awesome. Elementary school, uh -huh. we had like these notes that we wrote and, and they were kept in like a little yearbook. I am nine years old. My favorite teacher is Miss Chi because I really admire her. She tries her best so we can learn and we give her a very hard time. Here. Yes, to my grandma. Um, grandma, I can't talk because my throat hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember writing that? No, but I assume that that happened often. Because she was the one that always took care of me. Selena. Case? Oh yeah. <laughs> How do you like I that one? when she passed away, I was like three or four, but I cried. I cried so hard. You know, I should probably develop this because I don't remember what it's from. Here is a list of everybody I dated that, you that I liked. White. Oh, I think he dated most of them. <laughs> I did first boyfriend but I kind of say that he's not because it was a week. This was who I dated and this was who my friend Kristen dated. Yes. And that one is a picture she took of me. That's really good. Yeah. It's probably the coolest thing in here. <laughs> it's very, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It was really sad. In the loss of your grandmother, in your time of sorrow, know that you are surrounded by those who care. Each day will soften your hurt and allow you to cherish the sweet times you've shared. No one time you will be able to look back and smile as you remember all the days you laughed together. I am truly sorry for your loss. That is an envelope after my first time getting paid to film something. But it's empty. It's pretty tight. Yeah, because I spent that money. Oh, those are the notes. You remember in, in class when we used to sing and then they would write us notes oh, yeah. about like how our singing was or whatever. Yeah, I thought it was yeah, so yeah. sweet. Love your hair, you have a nice sound. Keep going, you're doing a great job. Practice makes perfect. I said that they spelled my name with an E at the end. Is that when you had purple on your hair still? So? Maybe. Oh. Is this a... Uh... Oh, that's my first oh, yes! ticket! Oh, yes! you look so good. Dun, 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 dun. Right I was making there. a left turn on a lane and um, the left turn light turned red. And my reaction was this, oh shit, face. Oh yeah, I got that from my grandma. For a grandma, much loved. Um, I wish with all my heart that you get all the happiness in the world. What's this? Um, an appointment book. Clinical appointment. I used to take my grandma to the hospital all the time. Since so period three. Yeah. You have, um, uh, what class was this? This was child development. Ooh. Today we went to Buena Vista for the first time. We talked to some lady and she told us the do's and don'ts. I was assigned second grade with Heather. Uh, today I worked with the cutest little boy, Juan. He only speaks Spanish, so I was told to help him out. Here you are in the newspaper. Film majors meet movie maker. Yeah, our teacher Eli got us to go meet with this uh, cinematographer at the American Society of Cinematographers. It's pretty fancy. Here you have a Christmas card from your brother. From my little brother. Maria Amor, Merry Christmas. Fuck, this has been an odd year. Thank you so much for being a great sister and always being there for me. And I'll always have your back. We have our ups and most certainly we have our downs, but no, I always love you and you are infinitely important to me. Grandma would be so proud of the type of person you're becoming and the road you're on. I think that must have been the year my grandma died. Aww. Yeah. But we used to fight a lot before yeah. and then I think when my grandma passed away we kind of Just like... reconnected? Yeah. Yeah, because it hurt us the most. Yeah. Because she raised us oh. together. Yeah, I bet. Here's Voxtra tickets. Oh, that's my favorite band. This was like, right before they broke up, this was one of their last shows in LA, so I was lucky enough to go. It was a beautiful show. Here. Let me 
decipher that letter? Yeah, it's just really sad. What is it? He robbed me of all I had, not possession-wise, but of my innocence and all the good things in me. I'm like an empty shell. I am nothing like what I envisioned of myself so long ago. Oh, um, this is from my cousin's funeral. They're little seats that they handed out. They're forget-me-nots that you plant. Hey, what about a door though? Nope. I just, I just liked stealing IDs from my friends, so that was just one of my friends. That was you and I went for my birthday. My 21st birthday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had my first drink, legal drinks there. These are memories that you tried to erase, like how, like looking back on them from where you're at now in this place, like, does it seem different? Does it still seem like you? Like parts of me. Yeah. I've definitely, I, I, I've gone through a lot of phases and I've just changed and grown a lot. So... So if you tried to erase them, then why'd you keep the stuff? Because I like the idea of it being there somewhere. So it like compartmentalizes it? Yeah. I think your memories, like, or what degree do you think your memories push you forward or like your experiences push you forward or hold you back? Uh, I have no idea. I, I'm in a different place. I ran all the way up to Santa Cruz because I wanted to relieve a lot of the stress that I felt at home and I just wanted to get out of there. So nowadays my life is here and school and you and I don't know.